Hi all, this is Ifrit from server 1018. Today I'm going to talk about special ant day in server versus server. So let's talk about how we get points in this special ant day for this event. So we're going to go to events, strongest war zone, click this I, go to day six, check and rechoose. This will allow you to see the points you can gain on any day of server versus server. Um, so we're going to click on the strength and special ants arrow which will expand out and show us how we get points for this event. So there's a number of ways you can get points. The first is from hatching ants, special ants. Um, they have the time limited egg, which is an egg that you can buy in the shop with real money. And it has a chance at hatching a certain featured special ant. Um, I don't recommend getting these eggs. They do not normally have ants worth value that you can hatch and the odds of hatching them are very, very small. Um, so I would not invest any money into this um, pack and into time limited eggs. Um, that being said, they do give 200,000 points um, when you hatch them. The second is hatching the normal eggs we get. So the tertiary eggs, the orange eggs, secondary eggs, the purple eggs, and primary eggs, the blue eggs. And you can see the points that are awarded when you hatch those eggs. So 200,000 for an tertiary egg, 50,000 for a secondary, and 10,000 for a primary. Um, one thing I would recommend is that you use the free eggs that you get, um, which is one tertiary egg, one secondary egg, and one primary egg at reset. Um, that will give you an automatic 260,000 free server versus server points when the event starts. I would also recommend that you wait to use these free eggs until an hour and five minutes after reset. So this would be UTC um, one hour and five minutes. The reason for this is one, um, server versus server only starts 30 minutes after reset. And two, there will be a colony action for hatching special ants that will start one hour and five minutes after reset. So not only will you get the server versus server points, but you will also get um, significant points towards the colony action, which will give you additional resources and speed ups. Additionally, if you want to hatch more eggs, feel free to do so. Use your advanced raspberry or a regular raspberry to score even more server versus server points. The next way you can get points is by using spores. So by using spores to unlock skills or level up skills, you will get 2000 points per spore you use. Um, you can also get points for redeeming for spores at your mutation pool. So in your mutation pool, you can actually get rid of the shells that you have for extra insects and use that to gain more spores. I will just show you how. So in my mutation pool, I can click on it. I click redeem and then you'll see I actually don't have any special ant shells because I've consumed them all already. But you can see at the top that it says redeemable shells 20. So if I had some purple ants, blue ants or green ants, I could simply click on them, click redeem and it will tell me um, how many I can redeem and I move the slider over to select how many shells I want to redeem and then below it'll tell me how many spores I will gain um, if I choose to consume that shell and there's a certain honeydew cost in order to get those spores. So for an orange shell you can get 600 spores and it costs 2.1 million honeydew per orange shell I redeem. I don't want to do this because orange shells for right now are very valuable in unlocking skills five, seven, and eight for the special ants I'm using. So I am not going to do this. However, for the blue and the green ants, I do consume these um, frequently to get as many spores as possible. And that's why I do not have any. And you can also see I don't have any purple. Um, that's because I expect to hatch a lot more purple on special ant day. And I will use those to unlock skill four for some special ants. Um, so I consumed everything to have as many spores as possible going into the event for tomorrow. So that is another way that you can get more points in special ant day. Next, we're going to check to see the other ways you can get points. So I'm going to jump back to Strength and Special Ants. 
Um, you can see gain 10 experience. You get a point for every 10 experience that you gain. Gaining experience can come in a couple of different forms. One is for using green honeydew to level up your insects. Um, the second is when you attack creatures in the wild. So scorpions, beetles, etc. Um, you will get a certain amount of experience when you defeat them. This also will help you to get more server versus server points. That is separate from the below items that say hunt level 15 wild creature for 100,000 points. So if you hunt the creature, say a level 15 scorpion, and you defeat it, you will get 100,000 points plus one point for every 10 experience you gain for attacking that creature. Um, and if you, of course, have multiple special ants in a march, each ant will gain experience, and all of that experience will contribute towards your server versus server score. So I highly, highly recommend that you start this event with 100 stamina on all of your marches so you can get um, 40 attacks into the level 15 creatures or whatever level creature you can attack just to maximize the amount of server versus server points. Additionally, you can also get points for unlocking skills with special ants. So say that you need to unlock skill two, three, four, five, um, you will get 20,000 points for unlocking that skill. It's not very many points when you think about it, how difficult it is to unlock a skill versus um, how easy it is to hunt one creature, right? You can hunt a level seven creature and get 21,000 points, which is very easy, or you could unlock one skill for roughly the um, same point value. So it's not many extra points, but again, it does contribute to your server versus server score. Additionally, they have star up a special ant. So we'll talk quickly about what it means to star up a special ant, because this gives a lot of points. The reason for that is because it is very difficult to star up a special ant. So I'll just show you what that means. So I'm going to jump back to one of my marches here. So we will go actually to the special ant column. That may be the easier way to look at it. And I will choose my uh, slim arched ant. You can see I have six skills unlocked. I have two that are still locked. Um, and you can see some stars above my experience bar. They are not shaded in because this ant is not starred up. If I wanted to star this up, you can see the star up preview and the costs below. So in order to star up an ant, it tells me that I need to have my skill level one or my first skill, dominance three at level 10. Currently I do not, but that'll be relatively easy for me to do. The second is I will need to have special ant experience of 5.4 million. You will not see it now because it shows level 40 slim arched ant. But if I were to increase this ant to level 50, at that point it has reached max level. If I gain experience above and beyond that, it will show a number of how much experience I have gained beyond level 50. And that is the 5.4 million number I need to achieve in order to be able to star this ant up. Additionally, I will need another copy of the Slim Art Shell. Just like with skill six, you need another copy of the same ant. You need an additional copy to star up any ant from zero to one star. I will also need two additional orange shells, which can be of any ant. And I also need these exotic shells and some honeydew. So let's talk about those exotic shells. Exotic shells can be gained in a couple of different ways. One would be from the time limited offer under the monthly special. You can see that there is an offer for five exotic shells. I have purchased this pack um, because for myself, I believe that these exotic shells will come in very handy down the road. So I have chosen to do so doesn't mean you have to, it was just my personal preference. 
The next way to do this will be something that happens at the end of um, server versus server, which will be a VIP shop will appear as one of these little circles on the right hand side. Um, currently, we don't have that available on our server, but when it is available, it will open up and it is a shop where you spend um, the diamonds you have earned to get items. And one of the items is exotic shells. And you can buy two exotic shells for 15,000 diamonds each, if I remember correctly. So maximum, you can get two shells um, every week. So that is another way to get exotic shells. In addition, in the VIP shop, you can get other items like resources, creature remains, spores, um, personally, oh, and additionally, orange eggs, which are also quite nice. Um, and it is all based on your VIP level in the top left-hand corner. So when you open the shop, you'll see items available to you. And I'll have all the items up until VIP four available to me and more and more items become available the higher your vip level is you can increase your vip level by signing in every day and also by spending diamonds you get one uh, vip point for every diamond you spend um, if you get to a point where you have a lot of diamonds it can be helpful to use them to level up your vip because in addition to getting more items in the vip shop you also get bonuses to your armies to your gathering speed and a few other categories the higher your vip level is so for example you can see my uh, benefits below the vip4 exclusive bonus about load capacity gathering speed um, which are very nice if i were to increase my vip level and i'll just scroll to the right here to show what the max level is so here we're at the max level and you can see VIP 15, there's some really nice benefits. I have soldier ant attack and defense, combat speed, march speed, um, and a much higher um, capacities and gathering speeds than were shown on the level four VIP. So getting this leveled up is um, nice to have, not super critical. The combat speed is really nice because when you engage in a combat, the player with the higher combat speed will attack first and deal damage to the opponent, and then the opponent will respond. So whatever ants you, soldier ants you injure will not be able to contribute towards their attack back at you. So going first is very, very valuable. So um, in the VIP shop or insects or anything else that adds combat speed is very, very beneficial for fighting opponents in PVP. So that's how you get the exotic shells, which will um, contribute to the starring up of your ants. And you can see that for this example, for a zero star slim arched to go to one star, I need five exotic shells. And that is the same for any ant is the first star up level requires five exotic shells. So that is the main way to get points in special ant day on server versus server. Again, I recommend waiting until one hour and five minutes after reset until the colony action is available um, for special ant um, activities to get points for server versus server and for the colony action at the same time. Use your raspberry have full stamina so you can maximize your server versus server points.